Hi guys and Merry Christmas to you all. Now recently I've been looking at alternatives to using the keyboard to control movement etc in uh, especially first person shooters. Apparently there are a few alternatives out there which comprise of a left hand analog stick with various function buttons on it and this made my eyes light up because I was extremely excited at the prospects of using a mouse to aim and a kind of controller just from my left hand as opposed to pressing keys on a keyboard something I, I can't be doing with because I've spent too long with a control in my hand. Um, you might argue that keyboard, you know, WSD is the only, WASD is the only way to go, but I disagree. But anyway, I found a video, right? It was a guy using a PS3 navigation controller, which is one half of the PS3 move system for general movement, etc. And a mouse for various other functions, i.e. aiming and shooting. Now, don't get me wrong, there are much more advanced products that do exactly this for Xbox and PS4. But they'll cost you over hundred pound to hundred and twenty pound. So this this is only cost me around sixty pound, which is twelve pound for the navigation controller. I managed to pick one up from CEX, which is uh, I don't know if they're worldwide, but you get them in England anyway. Five pound for the mouse because I haven't got one. I need a proper gaming mouse. This one on screen is a Logitech G502 Pro to Spectrum. It's the one I've, I'm still waiting for as I speak. Ah, oh, God, I can't wait to try it. You know what I mean? If you already have a gaming mouse though, then you're nearly already there. It also cost me £8.40 by the way for remapping software called ReWASD, which totally bypasses native joypad support if your PC game has it. So basically you can remap all your buttons without any conflict. All right? I was, by the way though, I was just trying to sell the idea to my YouTube friend Riddenworks Gaming. Now you need to check this guy out. He's, he's, he keeps plugging away, he plays Destiny, he plays the odd first person shooter. You know, he's, he's, uh, he does a lot of streaming of his gameplay. He's just a laid back guy who just loves gaming. Yeah, so check him out and give him your support, right? Tell him I sent you, right? If I can have 20,000 subscribers, which is something I'm very grateful for, by the way, I wanted to make 20,000 by Christmas and I've achieved it. So thank you all so, so much for that. But at least 10,000 of you or 20,000 of you go over to Riddenworks Gaming and uh, give me support. All right. But of course, though, the thing is with this, he needs to know it's better by actually trying this method. He plays totally on PS4, so the split fish frag effect shark is something which for him, I mean, this is a product, uh, if you Google that, you know, you'll find it's uh, is a, like, a, like, a, like a wand in your left hand and a mouse in your right hand, but it's made specifically for the PS4. You can make, you can, I think you get ones made for the th Xbox 360, the Xbox One as well. Um, it's something which for him does the same thing of what this method I'm using does for me but I'm on the PC and this is the reason why all this has started. I bet in all honesty though that there, there are more gamers out there using one of those in especially FPS games but they won't tell you that <laughs> because their secret to success has been helped by what is a much more better method of controlling than traditional joypad control. One thing you may notice from these games I'm showing you is my erratic unsteady aim which is one small part me but one very large part my basic mouse honest <laughs> which is totally not made for playing pc games and that's you can really see why i in particular though i'm really into insurgency sandstorm which is what has prompted this all to happen it's one one damn game you know it's not battlefield it's not call of duty it's this one it's a hardcore shooter and uh Although I like the game, I can't aim for shit with a regular controller. So when my gaming mouse decides to arrive, I'm sure I will eventually start aiming better and enjoying the game far more. Or oh, games like that, you know. I thoroughly recommend all gamers on every platform to try this alternative because I totally believe it's the way forward. In saying that though, PC gamers who only know mouse and keyboard control will obviously not change their gaming habits. This is just for gamers that realise that alternatives like this exist and are more than worth checking out. So happy gaming people and start aiming that gun better because already I'm improving in that department. Even though I can't aim for shit in these gameplays, right? But blame the mouse for that. Anyway, thanks for 20,000 subscribers and thank you all for checking this video out and I'll see you in the next video.